Well, here it is. So, um, I'm in the Lexus today, and uh, I've been doing a few things to this car. I've not really had much time to drive it no, properly, but today's that day. Um, we put a full TRD kit on it. Um, we did a, some, some spray work, um, an exhaust system. We've done a lot of tidying up. Um, and I've been wanting to do a proper review of this car for a little while, and there's not really m much content on kind of stock Lexus. Um, this is kind of, um, I guess, OEM plus. So we're gonna have a little drive today. Um, we're gonna do some sound checks because this exhaust sounds wicked. And uh, I'm gonna let you know what I really think of these cars. And if you're looking to buy one, probably now's the time um, because it's really, really going up in value. Just like all Jap cars, really. So yeah, let's let's get to it. Let's get to it. a little bit shaky. Wow, that's super shaky. Um, because this is a very, very bumpy road, but I will get onto some smoother roads and hopefully I won't be shaking around so much. So if, if you're new to these cars, well, they are really rather good. Um, I'm going to shut my I'm going to shut my sunroof so you can hear me better and stick some aircon on because it's rather hot in here today. And the aircon does work in this car, which is rather nice. So there we go, let's get that on. So, yeah, if you're new to these cars, um, this is an IS300. There is an IS200 with a 1G FE 2 litre straight six. A bit gutless. Um, but these have a, the 3-litre 2JZ GE engine out of Supra. Um, it's got the, it's a VVTi, so it's the thinner rods. Um, but they, you know, they're just, well, they're very torquey. The VVTi on these is uh, designed to give you a lower down torque rather than kind of high end uh, gains, even though this really does sing high up into the rev range like all 2JZs do. And it doesn't hang about, what I really know. These are not slow cars, even though they're the five-speed auto, which, yeah, okay, fine, it's, they only came in auto in this country. Um, but it does haul along quite nicely. And you can uh, switch a J160 uh, gearbox with, uh, like, a PMC or Lexi brake adapter um, into these cars to make them a six-speed manual. Or you can, a BMW gearbox you can use uh, if you're going to turbo these, but you can't, you can't afford them. Um, but you can have fun with these cars. They have a limited slip diff. They do have this very annoying stability control, which you kind of need to just pull a fuse out of, um, or do the uh, the steering angle sensor mod, where you kind of disconnect it, which keeps the traction control on, uh, on when you want it, but completely disables the stability control. So when you turn the traction control off, and you want to have a little bit of fun, you can. Okay, there's a bit of a good road now, so I'm just going to pop it down into second. That's 18. See, it, it, it does go. It does go really rather well, even on these horrible bumpy roads. I don't know how well you can hear it. I'm using a better mic setup today, but I'm waiting for some new microphones to come so I can kind of... Uh, Pick it up to the exhaust. Oh, we'll see. Let's move my my mic here. There we go. So yes, yeah, so you've got these uh, the buttons on the steering wheel, so you can change the gears up and down, and that does make the car quite fun, even on these bendy roads. That's how much grip we've got the camera to work, stay still. Um, I'm running BC suspension on these uh, ER series coilovers, they're about 1800 pounds new. They're kind of the best you can get for this car. 
Um, God speed up and lower arms, um, adjustable caster. Um, you can adjust the caster anyway, but you can adjust it more so uh, on this. Um, front and rear strap braces uh, and Bridgestone Taranto tires all around. So this car handling wise is very, very capable. The stock brakes are kind of okay. Um, I do have a Mercedes four-port Brembo uh, brake caliper um, conversion, which uses the Radford discs from a chap in Poland. Um, so it will stop, you know, even better. Um, but to be honest, for country roads and driving like this, it's it's really quite good. And again, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of grip. Um, you know, you can really throw this into the corner. Not really any understeer at all, especially when the tyres get a little bit warmer. It's just a very fun thing to drive. Like if you're if you're looking for, um, I guess it's not really a cheap way into. Japanese car ownership now, but if you're looking, um, if you're looking to get into it, and you can't afford a Supra or a Chase or anything, well, th this is kind of your next best bit. This is a four-door Supra, really. Again, a Chase is kind of a four-door Supra, but non-turbo. Again, still quite quick, quick enough for for country roads. And if you manage to convert it, well, pff, nothing to complain about then, is there? Very, very capable car. Just be 
it needs a manual. I think YouTube needs to, I need to get more subscribers and more likes so YouTube pays me money so I can afford to manual it and then I can do videos of us manualing this. And then another video of uh, me driving it, but... It's so good. saying it but you can really throw this thing into a corner get on the power and, and that limited slip diff just kind of sorts anything out but even I mean we're in dry conditions and um, this is an auto and it's pretty stock and I mean I can still feel the, the rear end slipping out even on these really grippy Bridgestone Taranta tires and again when you're in third you just keep it keeping it planted it just it keeps pulling it doesn't slow down at all it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling at the same rate it's, it's very linear it's very progressive and it's very forgiving it's, it lets you know where the power is when you're going well, just to be fair it doesn't matter what, what kind of revs you have in any corner it's going to pull out of that corner pretty well but when you get into the higher rev range or it really does sink really sings quite nicely so should you buy one absolutely absolutely you should buy one I mean what can you buy as an alternative to this I think is also really good um, same sort of money you can get a BMW uh, 340 CI Club Sport I used to own one of those it's a fantastic driving car however it is let down by the fact that it doesn't have limit slip diff this this just feels stiffer it feels more agile, you know. I mean, it's, I mean, I've got I've got an expensive uh, suspension setup, but even so, you know, you turn the uh, turn the wheel on this, and it just darts off wherever you want to go. I keep reaching down because I want to manual. Imagine, oh, just rev matching in this, that 2J noise, addictive, extremely addictive. There is another modification you can do to these um, to make the uh, automatic gearbox change quicker. There's a little screw, you drop the sump uh, down of the gearbox and there's a little screw which you wind in a little bit and it turns the pressure up and it makes the gears change a lot quicker so 
when you're using these things here. Well, it's not a, it's not going to be a DCT, is it? But it's not going to be slow either. Apparently, they're really good. Which I see. Will we do it to this one? I would like to. I do think the gearbox needs a, a, a service. They've done 148,000 people, so, and that's miles, not kilometers. Suspension set up and a limited slip diff and, and off you go. That's that's very impressive for um, a Japanese luxury saloon that was supposed to be sold to businessmen who didn't want a 5 Series, basically. But again, if you just you know want to cruise along, it's very very comfortable. And you've got all the creature comforts in here. You have air conditioning, cruise control, heated seats, electric heated seats. Auto lights, not auto wipers, we don't really need them. I'm, I'm, I don't really find it that difficult to turn a dial, but sunroof and everything in there. And it's quiet. See, it's loud when you, uh, when you want to get pushing with that nice 2JZ kind of burble on that Jap, Jap can exhaust, but um. When you just cruise along, just because it's back box only, it's not droning in here, it's very, very quiet. I'm not having to really raise my voice or anything. It's just a nice place to be as well. And I love the um, I love the face here on here and the clocks. It kind of reminds me of a chronograph watch of all the little dials and everything. It's really, really sweet. I don't think I've really ever seen anything like it. I don't think any other car makers really done anything. Um, that's similar to it. So uh, yeah, it's it's a little another little quirk of the uh, Lexus IS, especially the, these Mark ones. I mean, these again, these are these are growing up in value very very quickly. So now now's the time to get one. And a lot of people are just buying these cars and um, just tucking them away in the garage, not really doing much with them because they again they're going up in value. Nice place to be. 